Hello everyone. The third episode of Sheikh Mahmoud Shabestari's Rose Garden of Mysteries, Golden Rose. In the previous episodes, we talked about um, this monumental work. Sheikh Mahmoud told us that God teaches our soul thinking. He also told us that uh, the soul's light illuminates the heart. He told us that from the light, the two worlds got illuminated and created. The all-powerful that created the two worlds with the order B, Kon in Arabic. And we said that this order is interpreted, actually stated directly in Quran and interpreted accordingly as the divine breath. So he breathed his spirit into Adam as we have it in the Quran. Which is the reason why in uh, Islamic philosophical thinking we say that the whole creation has happened through the divine breath and nafas rahmani We also said that from the divine breath, thousands of forms appeared from nothingness. Um, we interpreted that nothingness as the Ibn Arabian fixed entities, the world of immutable entities, the whatness of all the entities in this world, the whatness that dwells in the world of God's knowledge as Ibn Arabi calls it, the world of Ayana Thabita, that is the world of fixed entities. In this particular episode, we are going to talk about the creation of Adam and how the human being started the journey of who am I? So continuing the poem that we were investigating, we get to this line. Sheikh Mahmoud says, Azandam gasht peyda har du alam, bazandam shod hoveyda jan adam. So the translation would be, from the divine breath, the two worlds came to be. From the divine breath, kon, be, the direct order, the two worlds were created. And from the divine breath, Adam's soul came into existence. Again, in allusion to the Quranic words, فَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِمْ and ruhi, I breathed my spirit into him, Adam. A verse that appears in many places in the Quran, including the Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 117. Now, in the next line, the Shaykh says, "Dar Adam shod padid in aqlu tamiz, kitar donest az an asl hamichiz." In creation, in Adam, God put the intellect and uh, the faculty through which he could uh, interpret and infer the concepts. This is the meaning of the first verse. The second verse says, Keta donest azan um, When we look at the appearance, it says, well, from these, that is from the intellect and uh, from the faculty we just mentioned, he understood the essences of everything. Now, this is also in allusion to the Quranic verse um, where God says, after he created Adam, uh, the angels were protesting, saying, well, we are better than human being. We have been worshipping you for thousands of years. Why him? He can sin. We cannot. So we are better than him. And God said, I know something that you know not. And then he asked Adam to mention all names. And Adam did so. Um, here, clearly, we are not talking about uh, God's apparent names, like he was all-merciful, all-gracious, all-powerful. We are not talking about uh, the apparent meanings of those names. God gave Adam the knowledge of the essences of those names. So the essences of all the names and qualities are known by, by the human being as the perfect man, to put it in Ibn Arabian um, terminology. So human being, because of um, his all comprehensive nature, can know all the names and qualities, not the appearance, but the essences. Put differently, the human being, because of his uh, or her uh, innate nature, can reflect all the divine names and qualities. Other creatures cannot do this. Other entities in the world cannot do this. We discussed this in our previous videos that uh, in the Ibn Arbian uh, philosophical framework, uh, all the entities are like considered like mirrors. Let's say this desk, that tree, 
or whatever entity that exists in this world acts like a mirror that reflects one or a number of divine names and qualities. But they are limited. Because of their limited nature, they cannot reflect all the names and qualities. Even animals cannot do that. The only being that can reflect all the names and qualities is human being and human being alone. And this is what we understand from the Quran. So the second part of this line is an allusion to this concept and to, uh, to the Quranic passage we were just talking about. From the intellect, from the faculties that God gave to human being, because of his aptitude, because of his all-comprehensive nature, he knew the essences of everything. He knew the essences of all the divine names and qualities. In the next line we have, so when Adam and the human being in general saw himself as a determined particular being, he started pondering, who am I? Who is this thing or being that we call I? What is it that distinguishes me from all the other beings in the world? What does it mean when I say I? the deep philosophical mystical question that has been hunting philosophers for thousands of years so following this wanderings following this curiosity this question he starts a journey so in the following lines uh sheikh mahmoud is sketching the way that this journey is happening so how did he start this journey and what did he discover in this video you will consider how he started this journey but his discoveries will be the subject matter of the next video because they could be very long. So the next line has um, He traveled from the particular to the universal and from there he came back, he journeyed back to the world. Here we should make it clear that uh, there were two journeys in creation. One, from the universal to the particular, from the oneness of God, the manifestation, the determination that brought about all the pluralities, all the names, qualities, the reflection, the manifestation that brought about all this manifestation. So um, we call it the journey from the universal to the particular. There is also the opposite, the journey from the particular to the universal. And interestingly, human being gives the reference point in both journeys. So from the uh, manifestation, from the divine manifestation, from the manifestation of the one, we come to pluralities and the center is human being. Human being and human being alone is the most perfect being in this world, according to this cosmological picture. And human being is the starting point for the second journey. From this point, from human being, the journey from the particular to the universal begins. So we came down, and from here, from the particular, we are moving towards the universal. And from this particular, from this human being, there is a journey towards the one, towards where it all started, towards the center of the manifestation, the point in which the unity of the human soul and God happens where the unity of existence finds its fullest meaning. So the first part says, the human being, pondering who I am, started his journey from the particular to the universal. And from that point, he came back to the world. So there was a circle, there was a journey from the particular to the universal and from the universal to the particular. So what happens is, the second line, if we are to interpret it, is this. A uh, human being got to perfection uh, through that ascending journey. And he was sent back. He came back to this world to make complete other people who are not complete, who haven't been able to get to that perfection yet, who haven't been able to reach the unity of existence, to experience it directly yet. So um, he got perfected and he was sent back to help the others kind of a prophetic mission but it's not just uh, dedicated to uh, prophets alone this is also uh, a mission for, for for the mystics for ulama not that they are prophets the station of the prophets 
and uh, the, the, the mystics are different. Uh, the mystics are lower than the prophets, but still, one of their missions is helping human beings. Now, after this line, the Sheikh starts uh, describing what the human being learns in this journey. But like I said, that's the subject matter for the next episode. So we're going to stop here. And I hope this video could shed some light on this text. And it was a pleasure having you with us. Stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, very interesting things are to be discussed. Thank you very much for watching this and see you soon.